Coming up in today's episode, the top 10 absolute best smart home YouTube channels ever to be placed on the internet, and a very important message about staying safe this Christmas from the All the Zigbee Foundation. It's very serious. Happy flipping Christmas! It is a time for giving, and so I am going to share with you all of the people that I steal all my ideas from. Everybody knows I'm just a pound shop doctor z... z doctor z... z doctor z... z doctor z... z doctor z... z, doctor z, z, doctor z, z, doctor z this guy! If you're interested in smart home tech, then this is a rundown of every YouTuber you should be watching. Enjoy! This is Brian! And Brian's key focus is not being able to do the Riker. Dear Paul, congratulations on 100,000 subscribers? Are you kidding me? Brian's secondary focus is the smart home news. If you want to know what's happening and what's coming up, Brian tends to know before anybody else. He definitely knows before I do, because he's not busy talking to a sock or blowing up his own head. If you're looking for the smart home news, then Brian covers everything from Amazon to Google to Apple to smart things. He is the newscaster of our community, and he is an awesome, awesome guy. Definitely go and check him out. Craig's main focus is being from California. Boom, where's your play button? Boom, where's your play button? Boom, boom, boom. On top of being the most chilled out human being on the entire planet, Craig also has a wicked YouTube channel and an awesome podcast. His live streams are a great way to spend the morning, but he does brilliant reviews, he does great little pieces of news, and he really knows his tech. If you're looking for somebody to really chill out with, Craig is your dude. Me, Craig, and Brian have got a plan to put together some kind of live stream at some point, in which we're going to do a pub quiz. I definitely won't put on wigs and shout inane catchphrases. Oh, the Zigbee! And on that note, here is a very important message from the All the Zigbee Foundation about staying safe this Christmas. Okay, so it's my turn next. Thank you. I hope you like it. I, I'm sure I'll love whatever it is, but... Well, you were talking about it, so... Okay. <laughs> oh, the Zigbee! <laughs> what, what's who the Zigbee? It's, it's dead funny. He does this thing, right? He, it's this bloke on the internet. He, he just... He, 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 um, well, he yells, oh, the Zigbee. And, does this kind of chicken dance. He wants to focus primarily on the Zigbee stuff. He's gonna say it! The Zigbee stuff. Oh, the Zigbee! Oh, the Zigbee! The Zigbee nerds saying things like, oh my god. Oh, the Zigbee! <laughs> Dave, this has got to stop! Are you ready for this? Yes. You won't believe what this is. You're gonna love it. Look. You shouldn't have. I know. I, I shouldn't, but you're gonna love it. What is it? Oh, you just wait and see. You have a guess. Oh, the Zigbee! Have you, or someone you know, been incepted by internet gibberish by some Linus Tech Tips wannabe? Call this number now. 0800 000 Oh, the Zigbee! <laughs> Rob is the king of the nerds. I'm the king of the nerds! And his channel's primary focus is to make you sick with jealousy at how beautiful his house is. Rob is a biology and engineering teacher, and also a time traveller. He must be, otherwise he wouldn't be able to be a teacher, and a YouTuber, and a parent, and just casually build a bar in the back of his garden. If Rob can see it with his face balls, he'll try to connect it to Home Assistant. HOME ASSISTANT! Because he's insane. If you go and check out Rob's stuff, you won't believe what this guy has done with a Raspberry Pi. Seriously, this is Rob doing a barbecue. 
If you want to see what a smart home can look like if you're some kind of mental patient, then go check out Rob's channel for some serious eye candy and some amazing tips and tutorials, and to mostly get angry with yourself for not having an automated swimming pool. Brett has eyes, ears, and a mouth. Eyes, ears, a mouth. He is also yet another person with a house that makes me want to puke. Look at this thing. Look at it! Look at- who's- who lives in a house that looks like this? What? what? See? Head explosions. Brett reviews everything from so-called hoverboards it has wheels, Brett. To robotic lawnmowers, to sound bars, to watches, to smart home gadgets, to sprinkler systems. Look how happy it makes him for this sprinkler system to soak his phone. Oh, yay! <laughs> Brett also does tutorials and reviews and all that good stuff, and he really, really knows what he's talking about. If you're looking for a good all-round channel for technology and smart home related stuff, Brett's your man. Go check him out. Reed's primary focus is being wrong about Philip Hue. Oh, the Zigbee. Reed basically does the same thing that I do, but with far better cameras and a much manlier voice. He is literally the nicest man on the planet, and his channel looks amazing. If you like drooling over technology, whilst a terribly nice man tells you absolutely everything you need to know about it, then Reed's channel is so good looking, and Reed is an absolute expert. He goes into serious depth about everything he reviews. The most important thing about Reed's channel, and this is really important, so please listen. Every time Reed goes to see his dad, his dad tells him how good my channel is. Thanks, Reed's dad! You will never be as cool as Paul Hibbert. Dr. Z. Dr. Z. Dr. Z. Justin was born without a torso and uses a Raspberry Pi to make his head float about. How's it going? This is definitely a true story and not just something I imagined in some kind of fever dream. <laughs> Justin is an unbelievably clever and wonderful human being. His tutorials on Home Assistant are absolutely mind-blowing and he is the ultimate Home Assistant expert. You cannot search Google for Home Assistant without finding Justin's tutorials on his doctor's Zeus's channel. There is nothing this man doesn't know, and he goes the extra mile with his live streams to really make a connection with his viewers. If you want to go and check out anything, like, really clever, the home assistant side of things, he'll teach you everything you need to know. Outside his house is a theme park and mountains. Am I... Am I poor? Steve's main focus is being unnecessarily handsome. Look at that face. Why did God bless him with that majestic beard and give me this nose? Steve is another super nice guy and he focuses on all things tech, but he's especially good at reviewing cameras and smart home gear. His experience of security cameras is massive because he's reviewed all of them. But he also does everything from doorbells to deadbolts to outdoor lighting. If you want a handsome face to tell you what you should be buying, go check out Steve. This is my mate Josh from Tech Tesseract, and his key focus is draining the UK's power grid. Seriously, look at this dude, he's worse than me! Josh should be an interior designer because his lighting is absolutely unbelievable, and he clearly brutally murdered a robot to build a PC out of its head. Josh does a lot of smart home stuff too, but my favourite videos from him are on lighting and PC builds. His photography skills are totally unacceptable, and he should be stopped. Go check him out, he's absolutely great, and his channel is mind-blowingly pretty to look at. If you like smart lighting and all that kind of stuff, Josh is your man. Stu's primary focus is being terribly English and drinking expensive whiskey. Stu does all of the usual stuff, but also makes absolutely brilliant videos on completely random things like electric scooters and drones and desk bikes. Yes, desk bikes. 
Stu is like watching Jeremy Clarkson on acid reviewing technology products, only without all the unnecessary punching of producers and occasional racism. Stu's channel is absolutely one of my favourites on YouTube because it goes from complete mania to these like really chilled out chats in a very posh looking study. He is absolutely hilarious, somehow seemingly unintentionally so a lot of the time, and other times clearly absolutely intentionally so. He is a brilliant dude, loads of fun, and a really nice guy. 2020 has been a big old bag of dicks. Can you imagine if that's what the Queen's speech was like? 2020 sucked the biggest bag of dicks. Let's hope that 2021 does not suck a bag of dicks. 2020 really was a big old bag of dicks, but it's nearly over, thank God. Without you guys, I don't think I could have got through 2020 without your moral support and indeed your financial support. Doing two jobs and going through this nightmare would have finished me off. I am so grateful this year to have been able to have quit my day job and now be doing this for a living. So seriously, thank you so much. Nisha, do you want to wish everybody a happy Christmas? Yes, thank you so much for supporting Paul. Um, Merry Christmas from both of us. And um, please stay safe, you, your loved ones and your family. Isn't she cute? <laughs> do you want to have a crack at doing my closing statements? <laughs> well, I'm not sure, but we'll see. Um, <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then please give it a thumbs up. That will tell YouTube's algorithms that this was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see more of this guy, then click that sub subscribe button. I can't even say it. <laughs> subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, uh, YouTube will notify you when Paul uploads videos. <laughs> These are Paul's incredible Patreon, Patreons, patrons, patrons from Patreon. <laughs> You're great at this. <laughs> they are amazing. Honestly, we cannot thank you enough because Paul wouldn't be here doing that um, without you, doing this without you. <laughs> if, if you want to become one of these amazing people or you want to buy Paul a one-off beer, you can either do this at Patreon or PayPal. Um, Paul has got social media. <laughs> I'm going totally wrong here, but social media, you can Facebook him, Instagram, or you can, which one, Twitter. Excellent. <laughs> Flawless victory. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs> That's awful. Happy flipping cr spit spitmus. <laughs> it definitely won't end up with me wearing wigs and shout. I definitely won't end up forgetting my lines. Justin is a floating head. He was born without a body and he made a raspberry pie. Honk, honk. <laughs> I'm in a good mood. <laughs> oh, the Zigbee! Yeah. I can't believe this. <laughs> 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 <laughs>